Um, what drew me to the topic of religious liberty um, is a man named Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Some of you are familiar with Bonhoeffer. Now I have to ask, how many of you know vaguely the story of Dietrich Bonhoeffer? So not so many of you. Well, I will give you the nutshell, the nutshell, nutshell version. Um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a German pastor, a Lutheran pastor, who because of his faith in Jesus Christ, was compelled to speak up for the Jews in Nazi Germany. Now, as you may guess, uh, in Germany, in, under the Third Reich, this was not a popular thing to speak up for the persecution of the Jews. Uh, and it's an amazing thing for us to think about today, because we say, how is this possible? How can this happen in a civilized country, uh, genocide? How did it happen? Uh, of course, we know it didn't only happen then. Uh, we have some Armenians represented here. We understand that uh, human beings, apart from God, are wicked and evil. And if you don't know that, go back and read the Bible. You need to know that. You need to have basic theology if you call yourself a Christian. We are wicked and evil. And apart from Jesus, we do evil things. And one of the most evil things we can do sometimes is to be silent in the face of evil. When there is persecution, when things such as are happening now in the Middle East are happening and we say nothing, uh, Bonhoeffer was, was noted for saying something that's now quite famous. I can never find out exactly where he said it, but it's a famous quote. He said, silence in the face of evil is itself evil. He said, God will not hold us guiltless. Because there were many Germans, many Lutherans, who they claimed to be Christians in Germany during this time, who said, well, uh, I will not jump on the bandwagon and persecute the Jews, but I'm also, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I won't speak up for the Jews. And Bonhoeffer says, no. When people are being persecuted, when people are being treated like this, even by your own government, if you don't speak up, God will not hold you guiltless. You can't say, well, I didn't add to the problem. He says, not to speak up is to add to the problem. He said, not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act. So when people say, how did this happen in Germany during this time? Bonhoeffer gives us the answer because he was a rare figure who felt compelled by his faith in Jesus to say, I must speak up. I have no choice. I don't care what's popular. I care what God thinks of me. He will judge me. I should, be, I should be afraid of his judgment. Am I doing the right thing in his eyes? And when we say, how did it happen? We say, that's how it happened. Because people who claimed to be Christians were silent.